How in the hell did you pull Simone Biles? <laughs> really, how she pulled me, man? That's the question. Oh, man. Lord. Simone Biles' husband, Jonathan Owen, says he's the catch in their relationship and admits when they first started dating, he had never heard of the four-time Olympic gold medalist. It's something you don't want to miss. The newlyweds, who tied the knot back in April, recently sat down for a chat on the Pivot podcast and reflected on how they first met after Simone popped up on a dating app back in 2020. Let me see who this is. Gymnastics. I ain't never, you know, I, I never really paid attention to gymnastics, so... <laughs> It, it, it piqued my curiosity, you know. While it seems unlikely or even impossible that the Green Bay Packers safety had never heard of Simone, he tried his best to explain how the Olympic hero managed to fly under his radar. When she won the Olympics, I was in college and we didn't have NBC, we didn't have Olympic channels and we're in camp, we're in camp late, late, late July, early August. So I'm not paying attention to, you know, so I never would have had a moment to where I would have watched like. And the pro football player shared how he felt after she first messaged him. I didn't know who she was at the time, but like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she got to be good. Once they connected, Jonathan says things took off fast. Simone driving 45 minutes to visit him in Houston and the rest is history. I guess sharing it is just a part of my story. So you was really the catch in I always say we and the you, men are catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did though. She is did, what you though. said. Cause <laughs> I I was fighting it. I was afraid to commit. I'm, but you know, like I said, man, it happened when you least expect it. It wasn't until they started stepping out together that Jonathan realized just how famous and beloved his leading lady is. It was all these moms and you know, they're there with their kids, and we walked past and everybody stopped and just Kids are like shaking and it's like, oh my God, and I'm like. To me, I'm just Simone, so I'm like, how do these people even know who I am? But it's also cool that they recognize the talent that Team USA brought. Jonathan popped the question on Valentine's Day 2022 and the couple said I do in April in a private city hall ceremony in Texas. So I can't, you guys can make me blush. So they later tied the knot for a second time in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico in May in front of 144 guests, including their wedding party of eight bridesmaids and seven groomsmen. And in the months since, Simone has frequently been spotted giving her man a supportive kiss before his games. Oh, love it. Let's do that. After the podcast went live, Jonathan faced some backlash over his The Catch comment. So you was really the catch in... I always say we and the you. men are catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did, though. But he's seemingly sticking by it, subtly addressing the criticism with an IG post. Unbothered, just know we locked in over here. And Simone, she slid into the comments to show her support, writing simply, for life.